In this lesson, we'll review a reading function question from a science passage. Just to review, there will always be two science passages on the test. One is usually what I call a soft science, where it's a little bit more general information, not too technical. So it might be about birds flying in a V formation or bears hibernating. But then you typically have one, it's a harder science. And the harder science, excuse me, has more technical language and it's just a little bit more scientific. And I think this passage is a little bit more difficult. We're only doing one question in this video, but even if you haven't read it, I think you can answer this. And remember, we're always going to answer the specific questions first, which give you some direction where to find it, and then return to the general questions. And so we're just going to do the first question, which is number 43. And again, even if you haven't read this, this is, I think is a good exercise because it's only asking what the first paragraph serves to do and serves right it's just a function like what's the purpose of it and so we're just going to read the first paragraph and then we're going to look for the answer all right and so always read like the reference information here it was adapted long a mystery how 500 meter high under sea waves form is revealed published in 2014 by american scientific american some of the largest ocean waves in the world are nearly impossible to see. Unlike other large waves, these rollers, called internal waves, do not ride the ocean surface. Instead, they move underwater undetectable without the use of satellite imagery or sophisticated monitoring equipment. Despite their hidden nature, internal waves are fundamental parts of ocean water dynamics, transferring heat to the ocean depths and bringing up cold water from below. And they can reach staggering heights, some as tall as a skyscraper. So whenever you have this type of question where we just want the, the function of this first passage, and this is the opening passage, think about, well, first of all, what's this passage about? Like, what's this, this first opening paragraph? It's really about these hidden waves, these internal waves. They're very large, and they're called internal waves, and they're, they don't ride the surface. They're deep below, undetectable without the use of imagery. So the subject is internal waves. But then what's the description? Okay, it's, it's not just the subject, but how are they described? And so here we have, despite their hidden nature, the internal waves are fundamental parts of ocean water dynamics, transferring heat to the depths and bringing up cold water. And they reach very high heights, very tall heights. And so here you want to say, well, the internal waves, we know they're, they're hidden, but they're also fundamental parts. All right. And so if you can just recognize that a, a technique that's almost always used when answering reading questions is they never use the same language you see in the passage. They always paraphrase. Paraphrase means to, to state in different terms. That's exactly how most of these questions are function questions or any type of, of direct, they're just referencing. This is not an inference question, which is a little different, but they're just giving you direction. And all you have to do is come up with a theme and then restate it. So you need to say to yourself, all right, I'm looking for some other way of internal waves being fundamental parts. That's all you're looking for. And so I just think it makes it a lot easier. Let's look at the, uh, the choices now. Is this first paragraph explaining how a scientific device is used? Well, what's the device, right? This is about internal waves being fundamental parts. Note a common misconception about an event. Okay, what's the event? What's the misconception? These are way off. Describe a natural phenomenon and address its importance. This looks good. What's the natural phenomenon? They don't use the term internal waves, but this is internal waves. And they don't state that it's fundamental. They say it's important. This looks really good. It's restated exactly the way we predicted it. Present a recent study and summarize its finding. What's the study? Okay, these are way off point. And so if you want to see these function questions, just just state yourself, what's it about? What's the description? And then it gets restated or paraphrased. So the answer here is C.